Shortly after Pearl Harbor, Britain was invaded, not by Germans, but by thousands and thousands of young Americans from the U.S. Eighth Air Force. They settled in bases mainly in the east of Britain, and that part of the country took a while to get over the shock. These ordinary guys looked different and sounded glamorous, and boy, were they popular with the ladies. They were entirely different from the English boys, English boys being rather quiet, American boys being rather outspoken. They thought Americans were so much better company. I mean, British men at the time were pretty dead lost when it came to courting. The girls would always favor the boys in, in uniform, you know. What we're about to tell you is an extraordinary tale of heroism and bravery, tragedy and love. I'm Michael Brandon, and this is the story of the American invasion. It may be 70 years since it was here, but all around this quiet English countryside, the deep links forged between the United States 8th Air Force and their British allies during the dark days of World War II are still to be found. In Connington, Cambridgeshire, Peterborough Business Airport is the host for a small select band of VIPs. Built in 1943, by the 809th U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and known as RAF Glatton during the war, these elderly men are proud veterans of the 457th Bomb Group. In their B-17 Flying Fortress bombers, the group completed 236 missions and dropped over 16,000 tons of bombs on Nazi-occupied Europe. 83 aircraft were lost, and 336 of their comrades killed or listed as missing in action. We were running out of gas. And on the way back, we had to get rid of everything and into the channel. But we did have enough to get across. What these men went through was the typical experience for the US bomber groups scattered across this part of Britain. But how did they get to be fighting a war so far away from home? <laughs> 